One, let's power jog, nice and low. Finish it up. Yep. Now again, you're stepping wide together, wide together, keep it low. Good, I'm mixing it up. I know those legs are burning. Let's push, we got a big rest coming. Keep it low, mom. Good work, Kinsey. Four, three, two, rest. Woo, send on your high five, nice work. Take yourselves a breather. So today, we're mixing up our cardio and our strength and our core. So have yourself a little sip of water as we bring that heart rate down. We are gonna need your mat because we're gonna get down. Excuse me, and then also have available some moderate weight. Okay, before I get on the ground, I'll show you the second exercise. So this is the second exercise. Reverse lunge, so step it back. We're gonna do a row into a tricep press and then stand all the way up, switch legs. Step back, lunge, row, triceps, all the way back up. So that's the second exercise. The first one I'll show you is on the ground. So meet me down there and good. I'm gonna get, okay, this is back. So, all right, we're gonna slide in between a down dog, a plank, and a push up. All right, so if you, now's your chance to grab a pillow. If you want a pillow for your knees. So our, I'll take us through. We're gonna start plank position, hands under the shoulders. You're gonna lift those hips to downward dog, hold one, two, and then into that push up. You can bring those knees down, push up, come back to the plank. Hold one, two, down dog, one, two, push up, by nature is one, two, okay? To hold, okay, so you get the idea. So it's a it's like a three part push up. We're holding each of them for two count. The push up though, by nature of a push up, it's down one, up two, right? So, okay, so that's where we're going. Come on down and uh, we'll get started here. If you wanna do a few wrist circles while I'm chatting, go right ahead. We're gonna get started with the plank. You can follow my lead, I'll start off a little slow. Here we go, just 30 seconds worth in three, two, one. Hold that plank, one, two, down dog, one, two, push up, down, push up. Good, plank, one, two, down dog, one, two, push up, one, two, down, plank, one, two, down dog, one, two, Push up. Good, we've got 10 more seconds. Plank, one, two, down dog, one, two, push up, two, one, and rest. Great work, team. Make your way up. Come on up. All right, grab those weights and come back to your mat. Here we go in three, two, one, reverse lunge row, extension, stand it up, switch legs, lunge, row, extension, and stand it up, lunge, row. Good, halfway through. I hope you're feeling that row, keep those elbows low. Good, it's almost like you're rowing to your belly button. And then extend, get those triceps. Three, two, one, rest. All right, all right, all right. Hope the hair is not going everywhere. Good, that hat is making me hot. Back to the floor we go in three, two, one. Plank, one, two, down dog, one, two. Push up, one, two. Plank, one, two. Down dog, one, two. Push up. Now you've got the idea. Go at your own pace, but try to hold for two. Down dog, one, two. Push up, two. Quick check on time, three, two, one. Rest. Woo. Those push-ups making me sweaty. Coming on back. Reverse. 
reverse lunge. Here we go. In four, three, grab those weights. Two, begin. Lunge, row, kick back, switch. Good. So even as we row, that chest is forward. Good work, team. Long spine, belly tight. Lunge, row, kick back. Good. Ten more seconds right here. Excellent. Keep it going. Row, kick back. Two, one, rest. All right. Woo one more trip through that. Let's bring it down to the floor. Get ready for that plank. All right. Now, push-ups are getting too much. You can just omit that push-up. And you would just do plank. One, two. Let's go. Down dog. One, two. And then you can just come back to the plank and hold instead of the push-up. All right. So if push-ups are not your thing this morning, just come back to the plank and hold. Good. Halfway through. Down dog. Push up. Good. Tummy tight. Plank. Down dog. And rest. Woo! Coming on back up for the last of this set. All right, find those weights. Five, four, three, two, let's roll. Reverse lunge, row, kick back, looking good. All right, so this is the last one. You've got it in you. You can pick up that pace with those lunges. Good. Woo, halfway through already. Good, Joanna. Nice, row to that belly button. Great, Michelle. Five, four, three, two, one, rest. Yes. Good work, team. Walk it out, stretch it out. I'm gonna get my timer, or, sorry, timer, my fan, moving some air over here. Woo, grabbing that drink. Okay. Nice work on some of that core and push. We're doing it all today. Push, pull in all directions. We're coming into a bent over row with our deadlift position, our pendly row. All right, so um, we're going to grab our weights, one hand on each weight. All right, and for the pendly row, let's keep those feet under the hips. So not real wide, not real narrow, just under those hips. Good. Your knees will be soft, all right, because this is a hip hinge. All righty, so team, as we roll, shoulders stay back, head stays in alignment with our tailbone. So as that tailbone goes back, head comes forward, right, still in alignment. This is about as far as I can go. This is not as much as I can stretch. So I've got my deadlift halfway up, row to my belly button, back down to my deadlift, halfway up, and belly button. Good. Really important that we focus on keeping that core tight, pressing that belly. And as your hips come back, yep, head is in alignment. So hinge and row, and hinge and row. So we're gonna feel this mainly in our glutes and our upper hamstrings, of course our core and our row. Second exercise, no weights needed. We're gonna do a single leg hinge, also known as a deadlift, with a reach. So we're gonna reach and stand it up. We're gonna switch legs, reach and up. So you see my back leg, it doesn't have to come too far off the ground for it to count, all right? Your working leg is the leg that's down. If for any reason your back hurts, bring your arms back instead of forward. Forwards. Bring your arms back instead of forwards. Okay, enough of that rest. We're going to get ready to rock. Here we go. Grabbing those weights for our bent over row followed by a deadlift. Putting them together. It's a pendly row. All right, ready. Feet hip width apart. Shoulders back. Let's begin. Hip hinge. So deadlift, halfway up, row. Back to the deadlift. Halfway up, row. Head is in alignment with my tailbone. So as my tailbone goes back, my head comes forward. Yep. Good. Row. 
So just check so I can see you. 10 seconds to go. Row. Good. Keep that row low. Down to the belly button. Elbows low. Hinge. Row. Rest. Woo! Feeling that in my booty. I don't know about you, but woo, on fire. Okay. Single leg. I'm going to do this here so I can see you. Single leg. So hip hinge. Reach back with one leg. Forward with the arm. Hinge and up, switch legs, hinge, and up, switch legs, hinge, and up. Now, if you're struggling to stay up, use that back leg as a kickstand, so it's unweighted, but it's on the ground. All right, so I'm just, like that toe is lightly slipping the ground, but all my work is in that leg that's down. Three, two, one, rest. So that's a great option. Again, if you're struggling with balance, is use that back leg as like a kickstand. But coming back, pendley row, tummy tight, shoulders back, ready, let's row. I'm sorry, hinge, halfway up, row. Good, hinge, halfway up and row. Tummy tight, keep that core tight, shoulders back. Good, so back is flat. The only way you can reach farther is if your hips go farther back. We're not rounding the back. Hinge and row. Hinge and row. Oh my goodness, last one. And rest. Woo! Again, so mostly glutes, upper hamstrings. We're strengthening that mid to lower back as well, but keep that tummy tight. All right, single leg hinge, ready, set. Let's reach. Hinge and reach and switch. Hinge and reach. Can you grab the ground with your toes and your heel? Equal weight in your toes and heel, working that arch. Good. If you find that you're falling over, slow it down like I just did. Good. Reach. Great work, team. Three, two, one. Rest. Joanna, that was awesome. Michelle, same thing. Mom and Dad, good work, good work. Good. Here we go. Final time. Four, three, shoulders back. Two, let's hinge down. Halfway up to the row. Good. Head is in alignment with that tailbone. And hinge. Up, row to the belly button. And down. Up, row. Tummy tight. Lower back is flat. Hips coming way back. Weight is in my heels. Woo! Weight in those heels. Press. Good, Michelle. Pin three, two, one. Rest. Okay. Lots of work happening on our back right now. So if it's tired, that's okay. Focus on your form. Support your back by squeezing that core tight up to the spine. Last hinge, ready? Single leg, let's go. Reach and switch. And again, I'll show that kickstand. So hips come back, just that my back leg is no weight, it's just tapping the ground so I have better balance. Reach and row. Weight in the toes and the heels. Strong arch. Five, four, three, two, one, rest. All right, I know we're feeling that back working. Fantastic team, we are, oh, halfway? Yeah, a little more then. All right. Now that was not terribly high heart rate, but lots of strength going on there. We're gonna bring it back to some high heart rate with our jumping jack and jabs. I feel like Really, I've been doing it since the beginning, so calling out a hallmark. Two jump jacks, two jabs, right? So jump jack, jump jack, and then jab, jab. Good. And you can twist those hips if you'd like to jab, or just as we've been doing, kind of step to the side. Either one is great, and you could even mix in some uppercuts in there if you want to. Those are going to be our first round. Second round, we're going to pick up those weights again and alternate our row. So our feet, I like a wide stance little gentle squat, tummy tight, and we're going to alternate that row. One, two, one, 
two, okay? That'll be our second exercise. All right, woo, here we go. Oh, two seconds. Gotta wipe down that sweat. <laughs> Get ready for those jump jack and jacks. Now, remember if you don't jump, that's fine. You can step jack, step jack, and then jab, and then jab. Make those arms quick. Okay, team, come on down, ready, set, let's go. Jacks, jacks, jabs, jabs, good. Nice, float those arms up like a butterfly and punch, sting like a bee. Yep, let's go right through. Woo! All right, I wanna see those hands touching overhead. Good. A little bit faster on those punches. Punch. Nice work. Five, four, three, two, one. Rest. Woo! Feels good to just get moving on. Punch. Okay, find those weights. Really important, feet nice and wide apart. Slight hips back, tummy tight. Let's row, one at a time. Two, one, two, one, two, good. Now, as you're rowing, keep those shoulders away from the ears. Good, we don't have to over row. Pull right to the belly button and right back. Squeeze, good. Shoulders long, yes, Marty. Michelle, that's awesome. Yep, three, two, good, Joanna. One, good, mom and dad, and rest. Woo! Starting to feel those shoulders burning. Good work. And we're gonna work them again. Let's float them like a butterfly. Three, two, one. And let's go. Woo! Good, jump, jump. I love it. Find one thing you want to jab out of your life today, this week. I know, if you're like me, Monday's already been a day. So whatever stress you're bringing around with you, let's show it the door. Jab, jab, punch it right out. Yep. Four, three, two, one. Rest. Feels good. We got moving in all directions. Yep, finding those weights. Good, long spine, shoulders down, ready, set, let's row. Alternate. Good. Yeah, so bring those um, hands between those knees, keeping that long spine. I'll show you from the side. So my knees are bent just a little bit. Row, good. Squeeze right through those shoulder blades. Yep, we're not over rowing. Shoulders are down. Tummy tight again, tummy tight. Four, three, two, one. Okay. We got one more round. Here we go. All right, I'm gonna switch it up. If you want, bring it on the uppercuts this time around. Three, two, let's float. One, two. Uppercut, uppercut, good. Two, uppercut, good. We gotta move those hips. If you're doing that uppercut or that punch, good. All right, I make such a bad fist. I do like the old <laughs> Popeye the Sailor Man fist. All right, five, four, three, two, and one, done. Woo. All right, making a fist and doing a little uppercut. It gets tiring. All right, final time. Here we go. Shoulders back, wide stance. Let's row, one, two, last time. Good, one, two, keep it rock. Good, squeeze those shoulders. Yep, you can see my shoulders moving back and then back to neutral. Gives that little bit of twist through that upper back. Good, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Drop it like it's hot, drop it like it's hot. You get to have a break, capture that rest, and woo, grabbing a drink. 
Team, we will be getting on the ground for this last set. Okay, second to last set, because we have a set. Second, yeah, we have some core after this. But this is our last in our strength series. So go ahead and make your way to the ground. Hopefully that heart rate is coming back down. All right. Grab your set of weights. You're, you're, we're gonna do a pull over. All right. Grabbing those weights into a pull over. So quick demonstration what that looks like is on our back. All right, arms are gonna come overhead. First thing we always do is squeeze those glutes and roll your lower back to the ground. So your abs and your core are engaged. All right, keeping those abs engaged. I like to do thumb to thumb here. You could also do thumb to thumb here. It's okay. I think this one is a little more stable. All right, add just that little bit of pressure as you're reaching overhead and pull right back. And then we're gonna do that skull crusher, tricep extension one more time. Keep the core engaged so our low back maintains connection the whole time as we reach overhead and tricep extend. Some, basically, just stop when your biceps come to your ears. So you might hit the floor or you might not. It just depends on your own body, all right? So some of us have less shoulder um, flexibility and just the way that you're put together, if you were to hit the ground, your back would have to arch way off the ground, all right? So biceps to the ears, bringing it back up. That's plenty. All right, then we're gonna flip it over, hand release push up to finish off that set. So we're literally just gonna flip over, come to your knees or your toes, we come to the ground, hands release, press it all the way back up, back down, hands release, and pressing it back up to your toes or your knees, your choice, or you can alternate, okay? That is our back and forth in this round. So starting on our back, here we go. I got my timer on, hands are on your weights, on your back, squeeze those glutes to roll your back to the ground and reach overhead, pull it back, and triceps, skull crushers, overhead reach, and pull it up, skull crush, Good, overhead reach, biceps to the ears, and skull crush. Don't actually hit your skull. Keep it going, five seconds. Good, Kinsey. Nice, Marty. Three, two, one, and rest. Great, Joanna. Good job, Mom and Dad, and Michelle. Everybody, great job. Turn it over, and ready, set, begin. Belly push-up, hand release. All the way back up, push up, release, and up. Making sure we've got those middle fingers pointing to the front of your mat. Keep your eyeballs on the front of your mat. Long spine. Good job, Marty, great. Michelle, awesome. Good, 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 seven seconds, go. Three, two, one, and rest, team. Everybody nailed that one. Let's turn it back around, find those weights, and get ready. All right. Again, squeeze those glutes so your low back is hitting the ground. Three, two, begin. Overhead reach, and pull it over, and tricep press. Good. Focus in on that breath. Inhale up. Exhale, pull, and triceps. Good. Keep it going. If you need to take a rest, just take it. Three, two, one, rest. Woo! Bringing those arms back down, flip it over. Okay, three, two, one, down to the belly. Hands come up, press it all the way back up. Keep those ears out of your shoulders. Ears away from the shoulders. Are your middle fingers pointing to the front of your mat? Good. Gotta pay attention, right? Because we're lifting our hands every time. 
We got eight seconds to go. Quick check in. Great, Joanna. Good, Marty. Go, kids, you go. Three, two, and rest. All right. Starting to feel that upper body burn as we do our last set of pull downs. Working the lats. Squeeze those glutes tight. Tuck that tummy. You're ready. Begin. Overhead reach and triceps press. Squeeze that low back to the ground. Tighten up those glutes. Good. Couple more sets. Three. Woo. Two. And last one. And rest. Woo. Great work, team. All right. Final set here with our push ups. Final strength. We're going to move to core after this. Four, three, two, one. Final push. Let's go. Good, good, good. Final push-ups together. Let's push. Picking it up. We got 10 seconds to go. And five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Take a breather. Full body. Good, full body pumping up this morning. All right, you can stay on the ground. We're gonna stay there. I'm gonna switch my workout around over here as we head into the rest of our core. Now we did a little bit already, but we will get into the final of our core. Good, good, good. I'm gonna take off my shoes. You are welcome to do that too. All right. And I know I on the ground but let's come up for one just one balancing flow move to making your way on up and push those weights aside we don't need those anymore but we're going to start with one core move now i will adjust myself just a tiny bit i'll let you bring yourself back up all right so core with the, our balance so balance is core what we'll do here, stand at the edge of your mat. We're gonna take a big step forward into a lunge, so just a big step. Back heel is up, good. Inhale, arms come up, go ahead and follow. A little balance here. And I, um, what we're gonna do is push off that back heel, that back foot, and come on into airplane. So reach forward. Hold. Good. All right, we're gonna stand up, knee comes up, arms come up. Good work. All right, from here, bring the hands to the thigh, back leg comes back. All right, let's tap the back knee to the front knee, three, and reach, two, and reach, one, and reach. Sweep it up, woo! All right, take that ankle over the opposite knee, have a little seat, just hold it. Come on back up, knee up, arms up. We're gonna finish it here, airplane, and we're gonna end in our big wide lunge. Three, two, one, set it down, and release, woo! Great work. I'm gonna do the same thing, other leg. So that was my left leg forward, now I'm gonna do my right. I know I'm, I'm not mirroring you, so. All right, other step forward. Lunge, reach it up. Back heel is lifted. Great, from here, we're gonna tip forward to airplane. Ready? Push off that back leg and tip. Good, hold it, nice. All right, come up, knee comes up, arms come up. Woo. Hands to your thigh, back leg comes back. Three knee tap squats. Three, tap, 
and back. Two, tap, and back, and one, and back, and reach all the way up. Knee comes up, cross that ankle over the knee, have a seat. This is a standing figure four stretch. It is not easy. And come all the way back up, knee comes up, and again, reverse to airplane. We're gonna end with the lunge. Three, two, one, land. And release. Great, balancing stretch and a straight. All right, all right, hot and sweaty. But let's bring us down to finish on the ground here. Core in the air was good, but core on the ground will finish. Let's start on our back. All right, working on towards our dead bugs on our back. We're gonna then, after the bug, we're gonna come up to a V sit. All right, and then we'll do our kayak. So as if you've got a kayak paddle, kayaking around those knees. Heels can be down, heels can be up. Your choice. We'll do it in a Tabata style. 20 seconds on, 15 seconds for the V-sit, 20 seconds for the kayak. All right, Tabata style on our back, rolling our low back to the ground in three, two, one, Begin with our dead bug. So squeeze right hand, left foot, tap the floor, switch sides, left hand, right foot. Good. So the key is keeping the core stable as your um, extremities move. Three, two, one. Come on up to V sit. I just did that little roll up. Three, two, one. Kayak. So we're gonna twist, kayak. Try to hit the ground with that same side arm. Scoop that belly. Three, two, and rest. Woo! All right, that was fantastic. Reaching with those low back on the ground. Ready, dead bugs, get set. Begin, reach, opposite hand, opposite foot, but squeezing the low back, that's where it is. The core doesn't move. Keep that rib cage down. Three, two, one, come on up. V, sit, hold. And kayak, ready, begin, twist. Good. If your lower back is hurting, instead of kayak, you could lay on the ground, do some bicycles. Okay, so that back is supported by the ground. All right, kayak or bicycles. Three, two, one, rest. Great work, team, giving us some options. We got two more rounds, two more to go. Dead bug, ready, begin, reach. Squeeze that low back to the ground. Ready, Kinsey? Three, two, one. Come on up to V sit. Hold it. Three, two, one. And then kayak or uh, bicycle crunch, twist, either way. Kayak, woo! Four, three, two, and one, and rest. Oh, I don't know what you, my belly is burning. Here we go, last time through, ready, set, dead bugs. Fight, keep that low back down. Fight for it. Good, good, good. Three, two, one. Come on up. V sit, hold. Tummy tight. 
three, two, one, and kayak or bicycle crunch. Woo! This is it. We got some stretch coming up. Really twisting, feeling those obliques and the rectus. Three, two, one, rest. And let's stay on our back. Roll. Good work all the way onto your back. Good. Knees to the chest. All right. And a big roll. Hands on the knees. Just roll really big circles. Start to feel that low back relax. Big breath in. Big exhale. Roll the other way. And release. Let's send your left leg all the way down. Good. And then right knee all the way up. Clasp that right knee towards the right shoulder. And let's do 10 tiny pulses towards that right shoulder. So really tight compression in the hips. We're just looking to get a little more mobility in the hip by adding that little pulse. Three, two, one, release. And with your left hand, guide your knee across the body to the left, keeping the shoulders grounded. You can look right at your right fingers. And slowly come on back to center. Good, same leg, let's take that right ankle over the left knee, draw your left knee towards your chest, and you could grab the thigh or the shin, and now actively press that right foot into the knee, right knee towards the front of your mat, and then relax, and gently pull your left knee towards your chest, a little more passive stretch here for the hip, and release. All right, so switch legs, right leg all the way down, left knee towards your left shoulder, big stretch, and gently tiny pulses. Three, two, one, slowly guide that left knee across the body all the way. Keep the shoulders grounded as you look to the left. slowly come back to center and all right let's take that le uh, left ankle over the right knee draw the right knee toward the chest press actively with your left foot and your left knee towards the front of your mat so you're getting a big tension push in your hip three two now relax the press and pull your knee it's an active stretch, now it's passive. Four, three, two, one, release. Bring your knees, mat, or your feet to the floor, knees up, and then boot your feet so they're mat distance apart. Arms are out like a cactus, palms are up. And from here, we're just gonna windshield wiper those knees to the left and the right at your own pace little stretch for the low back, hip flexors, pelvis. And three, two, one. All right, from here, let's gently roll over to our hands and knees. However you want to get there, I like to roll up. Hands and knees. All right. Let's bring that left hand right in the, um, in front of your, so in front of your face on the floor. So it's essentially between your two shoulders. Sweep your right arm up to the ceiling and then descend right arm behind the left, thread the needle. So right shoulder and right ear to the floor. Hips can stay up. Big stretch for the shoulders. Good. 
Relax your neck, relax your face, and slowly come all the way back up, all the way unwind up to the ceiling, and release. Right hand to the floor, left hand sweeps up, and then descend into thread the needle all the way down. Hips are over the knees. And release, come all the way back up. Reach back to the center. One child's pose here. Bring those knees way apart, mat distance apart, toes to touch. Walk those hands all the way forwards. Allow your forehead to rest on the ground. Clasp your hands together and then draw your thumbs to the back of your neck. Big stretch all the way up the back from the sacrum all the way through your shoulders, your triceps. And at three, two, one, come all the way up to seated. All right. And let's take that right leg out to the right, left foot in towards your right thigh. And we'll do a little twist and a little stretch here. All right, so first sit up tall. So almost like somebody's pulling your head up. Twist to look out over your shoulders. So left hand to right knee or right hand to left knee. Look over the shoulder for three, two, one. Release that back hand to the ceiling. Again, gentle twist towards your knee as you reach towards that opposite foot or the ceiling. Just so long as you feel a stretch from that armpit all the way down your side to your lower back and your hip. Go ahead and sit up. Now square your shoulders to your toes that are pointing to the ceiling. Curl your chin down and reach. Just kind of reaching for those shins, knees, toes, wherever you land. Keep those shoulders square. You're gonna feel that stretch through your lower back. And if you're tucking your chin, you might feel this all the way up to your chin, and your shoulders and neck. You can shake your head no. And release. Gently walk it back up. Switch sides. Other leg comes out. Good, sitting on both sit bones so we're not curled under. We're sitting up tall, head is tall, and twist from that belly button all the way good towards your knee. Look over the shoulder and release that back hand to the ceiling. Again, gentle twist towards that knee as you reach towards the opposite toes or the ceiling. Big stretch down the side, finding more space in your ribs and between your ribs and your hip. Release, square the shoulders to the toes, gently tuck your chin and roll your way down. Again, keep those shoulders square, keep that low back a little twist, a little stretch. You can shake your head no. And release. Right. And let's finish with three deep breaths to make our day amazing. All right, so breathing in for five, breathing out for five. And on that exhale, just really feel that any tension, just let go from your neck, from your ears, all the way down through your shoulders. All right, here we go. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna go with you. In out, in, out, and release. Thank you, everybody. 
Oh, making it a fantastic workout, bringing that energy today. And 